Good. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, okay. So good evening, guys. Thank you very much for jumping on to my perform information call. Um, very much appreciated for everyone that has turned up. Just do a little intro by myself. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a teaching assistant. I'm a part-time sound dad. Um, I absolutely love fitness, health. For me, more about health than it has been fitness over probably the last couple of years. Don't know about yourself, but you know, if I can make sure in here and in here is healthier, then my training sort of just sort of gets on. And to be fair, I've performed a lot there in the gym. I've been using Perform now for just over nine months. I absolutely love it. Lovely little packaging as well. I literally have some in the gym and some at home. Um, so I've got it on me at all times. So I literally today picked my boy up from school and had a pre uh, post workout shake as I was walking home. So it's just convenient, tastes good. And for me personally, I've had problems with other protein shakes in the past, um, upset stomach. Um, I did end up actually in hospital. So, you know, that was my experience, which I didn't want to do. And then I tried plant based proteins before and I struggled to be honest and then when we came across these i was just absolutely so tastes amazing you can have water or milk which is ideal normally i go for milk when i'm at home in the gym it's just water um benefits i've had personally has been um post-workout i don't know about anyone else that trains or does any type of exercise but i've always struggled um post-workout mentally like i really get a slump um, and it doesn't matter what time of the day, whether it's half seven in the morning, lunchtime, nine o'clock at night, post-workout has been an absolute mental slump. Since I've been using it, I've been perkier and even people around me have noticed. And for me, that's, you know, one of the huge benefits I've had personally. I do suffer with joint pains as well, back pains. I've had broken ankles and stuff. And to be honest, since I've been using probably most of our range, my joint health, Bone health has been a lot better. Um, perform 25 grams of protein, cannot go wrong. You've got your vitamin Bs. So you've got vitamin B1, B2, B5, and B6. It's got vitamin D as well, which is brilliant. Like I said, mental performance, bone health, and energy levels. Obviously, brilliant for um, post workout. I have used it as a pre workout as well, but I've mostly used it as post. So, you know, it has had its benefits but for, for both. The pre-workout, I've noticed it when I've done deadlifts, so obviously heavy lifting, anyone that does do that type of thing. Um, I've, I've noticed I'm a bit more sharper on my lifts, um, mentally, you know, on it, because obviously as you're lifting heavier, you sort of get more fatigued. And normally, like mentally, I crash. And it's a bit like anything in life, really, you know, you can crash quite quickly mentally, and then the rest of it just goes to splat. So for me personally, Having this bad boy has really done wonders for me mentally and obviously doing other things in life. So, you know, I've done a bit of meditation, you know, I'm walking more, getting some steps in, eating better. You know, I, I do live off of a nice balanced diet. You know, anyone that does know me, even though I love my training, do like a pizza and beer. So, you know, it's not all chicken and broccoli. Um, but I'm going to post a little video now just to give you a little bit more information um, watch it, and then afterwards, we'll speak to a very, very special guest. Thank <laughs> you. 
cool beans. Not gonna lie, I absolutely love that video. It is brilliant. You can, we can find a couple more as well, um, but that's one I actually like. So we're gonna go on to my special guest now, Kelly. Um, I'll let her explain a little bit about herself, what she does, how she does it, and how she uses Perform to get the best out of her own routine. Kelly, want to unmute yourself, or we can unmute you? I have done. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks Wayne so much for uh, inviting me on this call this evening. Um, so yes, I'm Kelly, um, a mum of three, a very busy mum, um, a full-time teacher, <laughs> and actually I'm a trained personal trainer as well. Um, I've done level three kettlebell course, I've done pre and postnatal as well, so I have got that experience, okay. Um, don't use my PT as much anymore to train clients, um, but more, I love it. You know, I've always had a passion about fitness and, and keeping fit um, and healthy that I do it more for my own results these days and what to do and how more fit and healthy as I get older. <laughs> so, you know, how important it is. So um, the sort of training I do, it has to be early in the morning. Um, if I don't do it early in the morning, then it's going to have to be after, after teaching five lessons a day of uh, teenagers. It's a bit uh, tiring. So it's the last thing I want to do when I come home from work. So I do try to do it in the morning. And, you know, just by training, it just makes you feel amazing. I think I'm a different teacher, <laughs> a different mum, a different partner when I've trained in the morning. And also that odd time when I come home and think, just get it done, Cal, and you'll feel a lot better. And then you're energised and, you know, yourselves when you train you just feel amazing afterwards like I always say you never regret a workout so I do a lot of um cardio I do a bit of running um I did do a few half marathons as well Wayne I know you're gonna you've got one coming up very soon um before kids and after kids as well um and then I was getting with running some pains um and then I got into my weight training um absolutely love it um I do that more now I was doing the odd weight training session but now I'm doing more of that than I do cardio um because of the better being a middle-aged woman that sounds awful <laughs> am I that old <laughs> being um 44 and maybe at that um sort of menopause stage then we re we know how important protein is in our diets we know that it's important to stay strong and to load our bones and our muscles okay so um i'm doing three um weight sessions um a week and then one or two cardio um so like hit or like a what's called a ninja workout so lots of kicks and um you know and punching and things you know to making sure that my joints and every part of my body is mobile because it's so important because as you know uh, these sort of things get weak um, so yeah, I love my strength training. Um, I'm not a bodybuilder, so I'm not saying that. I just use, you know, my kettlebells, my garage is is turned into a gym. So I'm very lucky because of being so busy and not having the time to go to a gym. Um, myself, my partner, he work out as well. I thought let's get the, the the garage converted, and we've got no excuse then that we haven't got time. We've got it literally out the back door. <laughs> so we're very lucky that way. So. Um, I didn't use protein, never used protein shakes before this, okay? I have always known how important it is to add protein to your diet, especially when working out. Um, but I would do it through, you know, my eggs. I love eggs anyway, still, um, and chicken. But we know that it, it takes time, doesn't it? Not that much time boiling an egg, but, you know, busy member three, getting up to, you know, doing my workout. And then I what needed something that was a quick fix in the morning straight after my workout um so i my other half has used protein shakes and um the same as you wayne um it's no good for his <laughs> go into detail about that um but um yeah so when i came across um you know this product i was like oh my goodness i need to add this to my to my diet you know what's better convenient um protein 25 grams of protein into your system you know within like how easy is it to make it? have mine with water you have had it with coconut milk um but you know this is not to replace your breakfast this is on top of my breakfast so i don't just have that for breakfast um usually 20 minutes 
it's me doing a workout and doing breakfast for the kids and doing their lunch boxes and so on. Um, so I want something quick, easy, and to give me that protein um, fix. And the results were amazing. Oh my goodness. I've always been into my training, but the consistency of like wanting to get up and do it and looking at the workouts, um, my mental performance, um, you know, like you say, I love working out and, you know, after a workout, you feel amazing. But sometimes you have to think, oh, I can't bother today. But I was like looking forward to getting up and training. Um, recovery, I'd have the odd aches and um, in my knee. Um, that's completely gone. Um, doing the weights that I do, I try and, you know, as you know, Wayne, you know, you've got to push yourself. And um, I'd have the same weights and I think, yeah, I'm using the same weights that um, that's fine, but you need to push yourself. So I was lifting heavier weights. I was thinking I was grabbing Derry's weights and uh, and using his <laughs> um, and working out for longer. I'd always say, oh, I can only do 20 minutes. That's all I need to do. But, you know, knowing that I can do, I do a 30 minute. That's all I can manage to fit in before work. Um, and that's all you need to do, really. Um, but yeah, working out for long, I'd always hit that 20 minute mark and think, oh, I don't need to do any more. That's fine. I'm, I'm knackered anyway. But now I'm pushing myself to do 30 minutes and, you know, 30 minutes of weights and, you know, doing about 216, I think it is before, you know, in every workout it was quite a lot, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, just being more consistent with my training. It tastes absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, and I don't think there's many protein shakes out there. It tastes um, amazing. It looks foul pink. I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, just more toned as well. It's helped me. My body's changed shape. Um, not building massive muscles, but, you know, I'm actually liking what I see in the mirror. I don't want to sound, you know, like I'm a bit big headed. It was like on holiday and seeing like my arms are more toned and legs and my bottom and <laughs> you know and you feel confident you know as we get older as women all of us will be more strong and more confident and not be that oh I need to be skinny and I need to be slim but it's you know being just looking and feeling so important you know having three kids you know I'm hopefully gonna have grandkids as well I you know I will be able to crouch down and get up um, with ease, um, we know with mobility, you know, above arm that decreases as you get older. I want to be able to reach up and, you know, and pick up my grounds and and get down with them, you know. So it's so important, and and this stuff has really helped my training come on and feel stronger, and it's amazing. So if you you know thinking about trying it, I would say definitely try it because you've got nothing to lose. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kelly. Very much appreciated. You're Just welcome. going back to that, um, the half marathon thing. Yeah, like I suffer with shin splints and sore um, ankles a lot. And I noticed when I did the half marathon in March, I didn't really do much training. So I take that, got everything ready for the half marathon. And obviously been taking this for three months at the time. I had a lot less shin splint pain. Obviously, I said that a little bit, but nowhere near as much as what I used to. And Dom wise, I was really worried that I was going to suffer for days. And to be honest, after the run, I felt like I had a little bit more left in me. So um, it does really work, you know. And obviously, you've got to take something consistently to obviously get the benefits. You know, it's plant based. So, you know, for me personally, if I'm improving all that in there, then obviously, me pushing myself mentally and physically, I am going to be in a better place. Um, so just to finish off a call, guys, I just want to give some tips on some health and fitness this week. So when you're planning on doing a workout, plan like why you're doing it. What's your reason behind it? Not just because I've got to go to the gym, because nine times out of 10, you're going to end up failing and, you know, it's not going to last very long. So for me personally, you know, I have a vision board, you know, I have what I want, where I want to be. I haven't particularly got a physique that I want to be, but I just want to be fair. I want to be stronger. I want to do better in the gym. I want to do better mentally. And that helps me achieve the goals that I want to achieve. Then what I do then, I always write my workouts down in a book. I personally love no pad and pen with anything that I do. So whether it's working out, I write it down. Whether it's my nutrition, I write it down. So I just can see it physically wherever I'm to. Like I carry a notebook around with me all the time. I might sound mental, but that's the way it works. And for me, some of my clients in the gym do exactly the same. And you know, when you've got something like that physically in front of you, 
you look at it more. If it's on your phone, you tend to just go, yeah, it's in my pocket. Let's forget about it. So, you know, for me personally, if you've got it wrote down, it does well. Then when you're planning, actually plan, I'm going to go to the gym or I'm going to go and walk three days a week. In that week, actually name those days you're going to walk or, you know, when you run a food plan, write it down, you know, say on Monday, I'm having this, Tuesday, I'm having that. And then over weeks, once you get used to doing stuff like that, then it's going to be so much easier for you. Then you're not going to be stressing about food, particularly when you get to a point where you're going, oh, I am planned, but I want to eat healthier or I want to eat a better meal. You know, in your head, or I can have this. I know it's only around four or five hundred calories. So thank you very much for jumping on, guys. Very much appreciated. Obviously, anyone that's jumped on, go back to the person that has um, added you onto this call. Ask them for some information. And then if you want, order the stuff because it's amazing. Thank you very much, guys, for jumping on. Very much appreciated. See you very soon. Thank you.